If you have ever heard of the AS test, then let me tell you that I am the same person from that creepypasta. On January 20th, 2019, the creepypasta was set next year after 2018 because I want it like that. I was watching Arthur due to the EAS test I got in 2.56 AM. Then, an expected alert came up. It was a civil danger warning, the tone seemed normal. There was a voice after the alert tone, it said. This is a civil danger warning for your area. There is a man wearing a dark red ski mask, dark red shirt, and black pants. He is skinny, and his eyes are black and dark red. Lock all doors and wind- It got interrupted. There was another alert which is an emergency action notification, but the tones seem like a G major sound. After the alert tone, there was a voice that doesn't look like the announcer. It was a low, slow, distorted voice. I was unable to hear the voice. It was inaudible and was too hard for me to hear. After two minutes of the creepy voice, everything started going off. It was glitched up with a lot of static, and everything turned gibberish except the national alert and issued in words. There was loud moaning, screaming, scary music, and static in this. I need to stop it, but it cannot stop. I tried to turn off the TV, unplug the TV, and turn the volume down. Anything could have done the trick. It cannot work. After four minutes of this, a scary screamer came up. It was scary as hell. My heart was racing very fast. There was no signal after the scary screamer. I had been confused of this, so I decided to call the AS station. Hello, thank you for calling the station. How may I help you today? I would like to report something. Is the alert a hoax or something? Or it is real? Oh, there was a hoax, I think. The person did not exist, and I think the civil danger warning and the emergency action notification was a false alarm. We sent out a civil emergency message. The same civil emergency message means that there was a false alarm for this time. Oh. Okay. Thank you for reporting it to the East Station. Have a wonderful day. Okay. Bye. Now, it was hopefully a false alarm. And that was the end of the story.